Okay. Yeah, I do review the rest of the videos on this channel, but this is about medical kidnapping. Um, I, uh, I don't think I did a show about it. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but there was a show the other day, um, Break Every Chain, it's on Blog Talk Radio, and it was speaking, um, about medical kidnapping. And medical kidnapping is where, um, a parent go in to get care for their child, and they're supposed to be getting care, you know, medical care, whether it's surgery or going in for a visit or so forth like that, but usually, um, for surgery or so forth like that. And they um, take the child um, and come back and tell the parent that their child is gone without, you know, doing an interview afterwards or just come take the child automatically from the parent. Um, and so, you know, this is a, a very untrusted world. You know, this is um, the rehash of the Holocaust. No, the rehash of slavery. Because slavery was centuries compared to the time of the Holocaust. Um... And, you know, you have these old bigoty, um, generic medical care professionals. First of all, they, they, they want you to be simplest, submissive, and they don't know shit. I, I mean, I had a doctor to get there. And I had funguses risen from my scalp. It was on my skin, and it was approximately 12 of them. And... This doctor got there, so I'm going to say doctor, okay, because I didn't check all her credits, you know, when you go to um, these, uh, you know, these clinics or whatever care plan, unless you got Obamacare, you know, and, you know, I ain't going to say Obamacare because I tell you, but I'm going to do a video about that eventually because I got some more stuff to do, but I'm not satisfied with that shit. I know they wasn't going to be, be crap, and I don't know why Obama, he didn't read all those pages he did, it was 900, you know he didn't read that. Um, and, and in the way people interpret it, so it may be beneficial one place, it depends on how they interpret it, and, but I tell you, that, that, that's crap, um, and the deductibles are horrible, um, so you, you may, you may be getting some cheap, but you're still paying the same money, so you had, um, the insurance, 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 so you still won't better get the care you need it, you know, and therefore, and if you don't keep it up or whatever like that, you get penalized. Oh, that's too communistic. Um, getting back on the top about medical kidnapping. And so these were uh, stories about this hospital um, called Lorraine. It sounded like a, a, a Christian hospital. Matter of fact, when I had an incident occur where my um, I had a child that was uh, murdered for me in the womb, I was induced. Uh, was given oxytocin, and I trust me, I have the records to back it, and if anybody want to know the name of it, it we, we could definitely go into that. Um, and it was a doctor that didn't get any education in the United States, but they make everybody else come here and get an education um, from other countries. But he was from, he was, he, he was Kenneth Zimmerman people. Yeah, he, he if he ain't, is from the, he's exactly, I ain't gonna say exactly, he's from within that region of estimate, but they're from the same, um, with a Hispanic um, bloodline. Um, and, um, I was induced, uh, given several forms of synthetic heroin and cocaine. Uh, and, and so that, you know, this is stuff that you have going in, um, in, uh, hospitals. But, I'm, I'm putting a lot of stuff to cross-reference into my point about medical kidnappings. Um, you know how these doctors are unqualified. Um, not, of course, not all. And I really believe uh, the reject doctors that they don't want to hurt their feelings and they're very, I guess, act like um, I, I get, you know, uh, sociopathic, um, very, I guess, go getter. And it was like, okay, we are gonna let you be a doctor somewhere. They must have some kind of program. I'm sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross, come across information, or you may yourself know about it. Um, something where they're letting people that, that just common sense should not be a doctor. I believe in a doctor of the old days. I mean, you are gifted. Like Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles, they sung. That was music. That's what they need to have for the standards of being a doctor. 
I am not going to be a doctor because number one, you have to be like a psychic. You have to understand different languages. You have to understand people and take them as a human and offer them the best service. And it has to be within your spirit. You can't be guessing or be educated to apply to people because you, you need to be a mathematician. You need to be a psychic. And you need to be a good scientist and chemistry all mixed together. So letting some old regular common core um, mug do that, hell no. Uh-uh. No. And that's what they got doing it. Um, common core sociopaths. You come across, there are good doctors, but it's rare. Um, and it's like, you know, even, you know, when you get the good doctors, it's like, they it's hard for you to even get them. And, or... You know, it's always hard for you to get them, or you may just get them that one good time, or you may get them two good times, and it's like you can't get it every time you need it, and that's that's horrible, you know, and that's why all that interview process, okay, you fool around there and want to tell me, um, I need a credit report, and, um, you know, do a video for, uh, for some file papers uh, working a call center but here are these, these doctors that's the one you need to be you, you need to do a spiritual credit report on them but how you gonna do that when you need one most likely your own damn self um, but definitely they need you, you need to be you know what I'm saying like Ray Charles and, and, and that, I gotta repeat that again because people don't understand because you know it's like people starting to get common core thinking like doctors are supposed to be you know, these old, if, if you're going to come in acting like a CNA, God damn it. You need to be a goddamn CNA, okay? Matter of fact, you, you don't even need to be a CNA. Go work your ass at the fucking work, warehouse. Stop trying to run after money. Money is not everything. You, you can still have money being a warehouse worker. Either way, as a doctor, people are going to expect you to be perfect. Um, that's why your male practice insurance is high. And you spend eight, you spend eight to ten years up in college, you better come out knowing everything in the world, okay? That is just too long to be up in school to come across what I came across for sure within the last nine years. Um, and, and when you got to go back to the doctor for four and five, so when you know you didn't tell them every detail possible, like a word problem, that's the purpose of why you have to know word problems, okay? Because why are you saying people's status and they just say the stupidest shit? If you're a doctor, you need to know everything. If you're going to be a lawyer, you need to know everything, okay? Does anybody need no dumbass lawyer? They don't fucking want to do math. They don't want to fucking, they don't know medicine. They, they can't cross-reference into shit. That's why we have a poor selection of damn doctors. And you ain't got no choice but to go to uh, depend on the Jews because they, that they stick together and they have info to get some stuff done. Okay. Um, and so, basically what I'm saying is, um, until, that's why, I, like I was there to bring up like all the time, until we get a bureau, we get our own culture, and this is something that does go, um, you know, they get the reject. Um, the extra reject Europeans, um, they go through it, you know, outcasts, what you want to call them. Um, and then they get, you know, that's like a pre-prep of how to come into our community. Because already, we probably already at indifferent or probably don't look too suitable um, coming together about matters anyway. And we probably just go to, uh, you know, go to the party or probably just go, you know, have an eat out or something not productive. It ain't like, you know, we we associate with the trailer park. We really read the book too much. It's not like it's real. You know what I'm saying? That's not statistically what they're expecting or what's happening, you know, slash what's happening. So... You know, um, this issue does go on in black and white communities, medical kidnapping. Um, you know, people, you know, I've had people reached out in conversations um, about, you know, their children being taken for not vaccinating them, their children have a scratch on them, um, everything like that. Um, and then when they go to these daycares and they get injured, you got to go through the, the twist and twassle. Um, and then... You know, it, it, you know, every, you know, you have these people that are in cahoots with each other, and they monopolize stuff too. You have to watch out for that too. Um, and, and like I said, that one little thing could just mess up your child, throw them totally off from how you had things going, and and and, and the environment. And so I, 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 I know from an experience. Um, I, I, you know, I was messed up from a medical procedure, um, where my where a child was murdered. 
um and then you know going from there and i'm not letting anybody tell me one goddamn you're not going to tell me any goddamn thing because the math don't fucking equal out i am not going to be the, the comic court recipient okay fuck no i'm not gonna do it and you're not gonna get there okay this is the problem and you're gonna offer me the most generic solution okay we can recognize this is a problem but if you're gonna offer me the most generic solution hell no i'm not gonna take it and don't tell me oh well this is the only with your insurance cover okay well then we don't need to proceed with it no and so what's to be done about it? Well, you best go get some advocacy uh come up with something with a, with, with a more sensible solution because you're not gonna give me no um, generic solution like if somebody needs food and then you come with to them a whole bunch of pork and some grapefruit juice you know some stuff that you know good and well that people don't eat you know what I'm saying it, it don't make no sense and nobody don't have to be fucking common core or just fucking take any kind of thing okay well here go this stale bread this stale molded bread or bread you need food take it fuck no and so we go forward um, standing against um, medical kidnappings uh, parents uh, need to stand together. Um, definitely, um, this is why you know it's hard. These medical directories aren't even. And then with the um, insurance, um, and then doctors. The good doctors, it's like it's so few and rare that they're overcapacitated to where they're not taking any more patients. Um, and then you know well, we need some thug lawyer and doctors. All that old. Uh, Rosa Parks and, and Martin Luther King type people. Oh gosh, uh uh. No. <sighs> now you do need them. They got to serve for the mild matter of stuff that can easily be worked out. But when things are, you know, you, you still need them in the give or take the mix of stuff sometimes. You need both of them together, okay? But all this old, old, over the limit, Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King, you're going to always get conquered. Who you know ever killed their stuff by being Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King 99%? No, 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 no. You need, as a matter of fact, that, that's world star hip hop, medical kidnappers, world star hip hop, live on TV. Matter of fact, y'all tag me <laughs> Um, But medical kid, kidnappings is going on. Um, it, it, it is wrong, and, and definitely, um, you know, don't don't go in it alone. Don't go in dense, and that's why reading is important. Um, and if you're not reading, you're building one or the other. Um, and it's not a time to to be on this old blessing how to favorite train. Please don't. You can be blessed, but that old how to favorite. Come on, uh uh, you you you're, you're black, okay? And unless you're dealing with a blind person, you, you can forget favor, okay? Um, and so we go forward. We go forward, and um, definitely until we set our political prisoners free, and until we keep our own children in our community, because this is a time. Grandmas aren't making it to 40 years old. I come across so many, um, you know, whether it's my timeline, so many people that I grew up with, so many people I've seen in my life. Um, you have grandparents that's working two and three jobs that's in their 40s or 50s. Um, you have parents that's not even making it to see their grandchildren or see their children make it through high school in large numbers these days. And um, you know, and so then they get they get fickle through the system. Um, they get whatever. They may not get no care. They may not get the best of care. Um, and, and so then they may have a doctor that intentionally, and then when you get that person that comes in and don't know the previous of what happened, and they're trying to catch up on stuff. You know, and then that's to say the worst catch twenty two. Um, so definitely, we, we we got to learn this healthcare. Whether you smart, whether you whatever, we got to learn this healthcare. You know, where is the people that really have that gift, that Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, and them, whether they have sight or don't have sight, like the old days. You know, you had somebody you got a stomach and they could just about treat everything at home. Those days have to come back. We need. I mean, so much time is spent on lighty gag and playing and cartoons that we didn't. It, we didn't got far away, and so this needs to be a steady culture history for eternity in our culture. Let's let it get go. Medical kidnappings, TTYL. Hashtag Black Parents Live, hashtag BP Now, hashtag State BP, because this is a state of being, being poverty.